We're Richard and Jackie from Early Retirement Wonderlust. And in the next part of our Yorkshire Dales mini adventure series, we are off to Gordale Scar and Janet's Foss with some good friends of ours. an amazing day out at Malham Cove in Goldale Scar with our friends Eddie and Shell um, but it was so so windy and it was also felt a little bit intrusive of we were trying to film and talk to the camera while we had friends with us so we thought we'd catch up with you now. So we did have a fab time with Eddie and Shell and one of the great things for me was they introduced me to something called Relive so hopefully in the next bit of the video you will see that we've been able to plot our walk because quite a lot of our subscribers have sort of said they want a little bit more detail of where we go and and uh, the routes that we take so hopefully there's going to be a bit of a relive animation on the screen. Yeah it looks a great app and you can add photos into it so I like that bit. With us being more settled in the Dales now and one of the things that we want to do and love to do is get out and about in the Dales we are going to start doing a bit of a mini series of different days out and different hikes and different places to stay in the Dales so this is one of the first ones. And if I can get the technology right I will put a link either there or there uh, to our previous video on Malham Cove. With that in mind, we're not particularly going to show you any of the walk that we did to the top of Malham Cove. This, is, this video is going to start from the top of the cove and go across to Gordale Scar and down through Janet's Foss. Fun facts about Gordale Scar. Scar means crag or cliff. The location was used in the Witcher Netflix series. It was formed in the Ice Age. And it has Gordale Beck running down the middle of it. And it's quite a secret gorge. So without you actually realising it, you're almost in the gorge before you actually realise how massive it is. One of the challenges for many people that get to Gordale Scar is whether you can actually go up it or not. And when it's dry, actually, there is a route right through the middle. Um, we've never done it yet because every time we've gone, it's rained. Just down from Gordale Scar is Janet's Foss with Foss being the Nordic word for waterfall. And folklore tells us that it's called Janet's Foss because Janet is a fairy that's supposed to have lived behind the waterfall. It's been used for hundreds of years as a traditional sheep dip in the area, which 
I think it's a bit of a sight to behold. And it has got a really nice plunge pool underneath the waterfall. Richard did scare off the locals by getting his budgie smugglers on and having a bit of a dip when we went past. Funnily enough, wherever I go <laughs> swimming, it always seems to go really quiet. I don't quite know why that is. Um, and then another fun fact is that it's been used as a location for um, the All Creatures Great and Small TV show. It is actually a beautiful walk. Starting from Malham Cove, going up through Bordale Scar, back through Janet's Foss is about five miles. You can park in Malham and it's just dead easy. It's not a particularly challenging route no. and the bonus being it ends at a cracking pub in the village. So that's it. It's only a short video to introduce you to one of our favourite areas. We hope that you can take something away from it and some hints and tips on what is a beautiful walk in a beautiful part of the world. Our weekend continued with Eddie and Shell the day after and we went for a hike up Ingleborough and I think it's fair to say that we had all the weathers in one day but that's coming up next. <laughs> so see you later. See you. Bye. bye.